In this tutorial, we're going to demonstrate how to create a discussion forum and a discussion topic. There are two ways to create discussion forums and topics. The first being from the content area by clicking on New and then clicking on Discussion, or by going to Edit Course and Discussions. For this tutorial, we're going to go the Edit Course route because you just have a few more options to edit in the Edit Course area. So I'm going to click on Edit Course and I'm going to scroll down and click on Discussions. This is going to list all of the forums and all the topics that I have in my course. I'm going to click on New and notice I have the option to create a new forum and a new topic. Forums are buckets for individual discussion topics. You may have one forum for each unit with several topics or you can have one forum that includes one topic, but you have to have a forum before you can create a topic. However, you can create a forum by going to New Topic. So I'm going to go ahead and click on New Topic. This is going to have me choose a forum. If the forum I'm looking for isn't already listed here, then I can click on New Forum to create a new one. So we'll call this the Group Discussion. I can leave the description blank and save. It's going to automatically populate in then this is the forum. For the description here, I'm going to put the prompt for the students. Scrolling down a little bit, I have a few options. Really the most important option to be aware of here is the users must start a thread before they can read and reply to other threads. This is done to encourage original thought. So if in the past when you've done this discussion, you found that student posts tend to be a lot of like, you may want to choose this option so that students can't read what other students have put until they've posted their own. There is a rating option for posts. One of the more interesting ones is the up-down voting if you want students to be able to up-down vote different posts. I can also set start and end dates and lock dates for this particular topic here. Scrolling back up under the restrictions tab, I can attach any release conditions if I want and I can also restrict this topic to groups and sections. So if you want to create a group discussion, this is where you'll do that. Under the assessment tab is where I can create an assignment from this. If I don't have a grade item already created, I can create a new grade item and then put the score, the total possible score. I can add a rubric if I want. When I've customized the discussion forum, I can click Save and Close. I can scroll all the way down to the bottom and there I'm going to see my discussion forum here. Note it's going to tell students must post first because I had that setting.